Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Kane for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last video, we made it all the way here to Vassarboon, but we did not enter Newt Retro's Retreat because I couldn't find a way in. I am not a clever man, it was behind that save spire. But it's a good thing I went back here anyway, because... There is something here that I want to get myself back to. Nearby was a cave where we could, we could feast on people that were chained up to cave walls. There was a passage to the east of that that I did not take. I want to go over there to get something. But first, I'm going to have to deal with all the slowdown and beating up the guards. And I don't need to get any more blood. I can easily just defeat him. And if I do need more blood, I can just beat these two guys at the camp up instead. Alright, we will have to do some moving back and forth between where I want to go and the town of Wasserbund. But this will be worth it because we may or may not need this later, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this later. I mean, I might as well get this now that I know about it after consulting YouTube and figuring out where to, know, where to go next. There's the cave. Here's the passage. And this is a beacon we can access in bat form. I should have done this last time, but I didn't go over here like I should have. And now we're going to have to go all the way back to the town just to continue on with the adventure. And, of course, I'm going to suck his blood, too, because why not? All right, let's push this out of the way. I don't want to fight enemies unless I absolutely have to. And I am going to go north again, because I can. So, yeah, I was at the front door to New Raptors Retreat the whole time. I just didn't look beyond the spire like I should have. That's what I get for not exploring fully like I should during practice runs. For the things I want to do in any one video. How are you still throwing night? Why am I still? I should have made a meal out of him and I didn't. Well, I can do. Okay. Time to do the. Stick and move, because you want to hit me for some reason. You want to, you are able to successfully hit me. As soon as you hear the axe swipe, that's when you move back in. Alright, we need to go to the west side of the village, take the bridge, go further west, and then head back to Newt Raptor's retreat. All right, managed to beat that guy up pretty darn well. Gotten a little better at this. Still want to make sure that I can be consistent with this. And since he's not able to reach me, I can easily just swipe away with repeated strikes and get rid of him. And... You're just going to let me do that right in front of you, aren't you? Oh, neat. You are actually going to keep your distance. I thought you were actually going to hit me. Well, time to make a meal out of him. And from here, I want to get rid of this guy first. 
because he's going to follow me. Okay, stick and move time. Since you apparently are able to hit me. Yeah, if he hits me even once, it's not even worth it to do the multiple sword strikes. I'm just not even going to do it. And he's down. Soon he will be too. Hey, I'm still able to hit you. Yep. Yeah, apparently fighting these guys. Bit of a dice throw, obviously. Why are you... Oh, now you want to do it the way I want you to. Well, at least I don't have slow down working against me. Not anymore, anyway. And now it's time to go back. Okay, we're not doing that. Two I can deal with. Three I cannot. Discretion really is the better part of Valor. And I'm going to avoid things here, too. And I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be following me past the gate, so let's not and say we did. And now it's time. Okay. Now it's time to go into this cave, as opposed to the one behind the waterfall, which just took us to stuff. Let's go ahead and save, so that way I don't have to worry about getting that beacon ever again. Yes, I wish to overwrite the save game. Thanks for asking. And let us get on with Noob Traptor's Retreat. The first of the Circle of Nine. And... There's the entrance. I told you I was not a clever man. And as soon as you get in here, you want to ready the wolf form and be ready to avoid those things that are spitting the fireballs. You cannot destroy those no matter how hard you try it, so don't even bother. And be ready to jump over the water because the water does hurt. what I tell you. Why are you calling me kind, sir? I am an evil, evil wolf. What are you doing, random human? So, we obviously want to avoid the water and the fireballs. And you want to slash the purple slimes when they get in your way. And I want to get you out of the way, too. And I might as well go ahead and suck his blood and trigger this. The mentalist Nupraptor was renowned through Nosgoth for his tricks of the mind, telepathy, and telekinesis. Pilgrims traveled from all across the land seeking the comfort of his lies. I sought not his wisdom, but his life. And his life we will eventually take if we are to get to him in the first place. Also, let's avoid these wall blades. They will hurt. Stay as far away as possible, that way you don't have to worry about getting hit. And of course, be ready to use that wolf form when you need to to jump over the water. I did that too soon. Well... I can do it this way. No big deal. And that blew up on me. Well, he can help me out. And now we have another screen to work through. After dealing with all that water and the wall blades, we now have arrow traps and even bigger slimes that will come at, come at us and take two hits to kill. Also, there is junk around here. And the screams of mortals. You want to watch out for the green slimes because they can be a little bit more aggressive, though. Although not by much. 
do I know? And that was not a fate that I wanted. And we are now hearing some rather insane mutterings in the background there. That doesn't sound very appeasing in any way. Let us go get our life force back here. Let us go over here instead because there is debris blocking the path. And let us not spend too long in the water so that way we don't get burned by it. And I'm going to switch back to human form. And... R1? R1, good. I want to use Magical Light. And use the wolf form as well. Because this is how we're going to get to where we need to go next. Anyway. Let us get out of wolf form. Switch to our projectile, our energy bolt, and hit that switch. Let's get the flay, let's get the magic energy, let us switch back to wolf form, and then get back here. We have now triggered a bridge. We want to take it. And let us watch out for arrows again as we do things. And we are going to go this way. There are also spikes coming in and out of the walls. You want to avoid those too, whenever possible. Oh, okay. And you started coming for me. Well, that's not going to happen for long. And I am going to smack you with the sword. Almost got killed there, but I managed to make it. Okay. Saw you coming. Just a little bit. Let's grab this flask. To refill our health. And one more slime. Please help me, kind sir. There is no help for you. There is no help for anyone. <laughs> you dare intrude upon my sanctuary? Can I not mourn in peace? Leave. Leave and let my solitude be complete. Sorry, can't do that. We have to kill you. And believe it or not, there are monks in this dark room. Wrong button. Again. And... Unless you use magical light, you can't exactly see them. Thankfully, they don't take a lot of hits to, to hit. They're pretty easy to defeat, even in daylight, maybe. But if you know what you're doing, you can easily keep yourself from being blasted with a magical flamethrower. Can I hit you? Apparently that's the way to go. And for this puzzle, what we want to do is make it so that only the middle skull that's shooting the arrows is flashing red. This will open the nearby door that we could not open. And after, yeah, okay, I guess I don't need that then. Do want to stay away from things, though. And make sure I don't get hurt a lot. Get that. And carefully. Make a meal out of him. Him, too. And now we need to hit this switch to open this door. I don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm just going to move the chairs out of the way. And we need to use the energy bolt to hit the switch across the spikes. 
Making sure I have enough health here. And by going to the left, we get some dialogue. I came upon one of Nufgrafter's serving girls, catatonic with fear, choking out half word through bloody, broken teeth. Although tempted by hunger, I stayed my hand, allowing her to tell her story. She spoke of her lord, Nufgrafter, driven to insanity by the brutal slaying of his beloved Ariel. She spoke of his self-mutilation, sewing his eyes and lips shut to deny the outside world. Fueled by despair and hopelessness, he turned his magic on the circle, infecting their minds with his madness. Nufgrafter cared for nothing now, save his pathetic self-pity. Scars such as hers would never heal. Death would only be a mercy. So we get to hear about what Nupgrafter has done, where he has descended in the madness, killed Ariel, murdered Ariel, shown his eyes and lips shut, and just infected the rest of the Circle of Nine with his madness. Oh boy. Yeah, we're really going to need to get rid of him. And this guy... He will just keep approaching. And he also has skeletons following him around too. Let us hit this switch so we can go back to that door and go through it. Wait on the arrows. And what is next? Ah. The cretins squandered life and left it seeping on the floor. Such waste was a travesty. Perhaps Nupgrafter needed to be taught a lesson as to the value of blood. Oh, please, help me, kind sir. Oh, please, and to do that, we'll need to hit this switch. Oh, please, Hopefully not hit it again, so that way we can open the door there. And yeah, apparently this guy is like some sort of necromancer or something. And I believe I got him. I guess I might as well go ahead and get health from them. I guess I will. Apparently I took more damage than I wanted. And now we need to use Energy Bolt to hit this switch. Be careful on the way because there will be two more undead enemies. There will be two more zombies. Get back to the stairs and hit them. You got this guy again. Two of them now. And, oh dear. I am getting wrecked. I need to get rid of all these guys. And you are just getting all up in my personal space. Not fun. And I don't see any more enemies. Fun. And now we are trapped in here. Let us grab this and this. We have more magic. We have more health. We have our first boost of those in a while. And each of these switches lead to four places that we have to go through in order to get to Nupdrafter. Once we go through all of them, we can go through here. We're going to be in here for a little while. And the real trip through Nup Tractor's Retreat starts in the next video. So join me next time where I go through more of Nup Tractor's Domain. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!